so Oluwalu being known as one of the most important mother reefs around here and perhaps having spawned many of the other reefs that we surf on and whatnot and we dive on and we eat off of and that sequester carbon, our reef system is really important to us. We can show you footage all day long of stuff running out of the dump straight into the ocean. There is no mitigation there. If you look at how it's set up, all the drainage comes off of that hill right into the ocean right there. So I think one of the reasons why people aren't looking at these toxins, if you touch them, you're not gonna die instantly. And so people think, oh, no big deal. But what's happening is as this stuff makes its way into our environment, and even every time we touch it, or every time we breathe it in, it's gonna bioaccumulate in our system. What does that mean? So let's look at it in nature. These toxins are gonna run off the hill, the algae is gonna grab it, it's gonna bioaccumulate in plant material, and then it's gonna work its way up the food chain. Fish that eat plants, fish that eat fish, humans that eat fish, so it winds up all the way in us. And the more fish we eat with it, the more it accumulates in our system. So there are several ways for this to bioaccumulate. And it's one of those things that you don't see it right in front of you like a deadly poison because it doesn't kill you instantly. Some of this, we won't see the repercussions from this until 40 years. But we already know because we see the repercussion in other places. So I think that people should start to look at that, do your homework on what it is and what it means, demand that the county, the state, the powers that be test for it and release that data to the community so that we can make decisions uh, based on facts.